What's up everyone? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Megan. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm doing a tutorial on this look right here. I added a couple little pops of color as liner just because I felt like doing something a little different without like really crossing over into wearing a bright colorful look. I hope you guys enjoy. Please let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see next. I have all of the products linked for you guys down below as always and make sure you check those out if you are interested in purchasing anything. They are affiliate links so if you click on the links I do earn a small commission so thank you so much to anyone who is clicking on my links to investigate further. So if you guys would like to see how I achieved this bronzy summery look, please keep watching. So brows are on and I'm gonna do like kind of a different look today I think. Um, all of my brushes are filthy and disgusting so apologize in advance for that. I'm gonna take Bake Sale by Makeup Geek and I'm using a Morphe R39, my favorite eyeshadow brush. I'm just gonna stick that in my crease. I love Makeup Geek eyeshadows. They're like so good. If you're a beginner with eyeshadow, Makeup Geek is super easy to work with, so they'd be a great brand to try. Just the regular eyeshadows, and they're very affordable as well, and don't take that long to ship to Canada. I think I'm gonna do another Makeup Geek order soon, actually. And if you're down in the States, they just started selling in Target. I don't know how many Target stores they're in, but that's pretty exciting. We, of course, don't have Target in Canada anymore. It wasn't even that good anyway, to be honest. There was one not far from where I live, and it was like, I never went in there, because it wasn't the same. Like, whenever we get those retailers in Canada, except for Sephora, it's not the same, and it's not as good, it sucks. So I'm gonna soften that, Oh, whoa. I'm gonna soften that up with this Tarte Lattice palette and this Morphe E28. Just grab any eyeshadow, eyeshadow, any, eye, grab any eyeshadow that's similar to your skin tone. In my case, it's like anything that looks creamy and very fair <laughs> matches me. So next, I'm gonna grab an oldie but a goodie. I used to wear this all the time. This is Sable by MAC and I need a better brush for this. So I'm gonna grab Sable with this flat eyeshadow brush. Uh, any flat eyeshadow brush will do. I don't even know what brand this is. And I'm gonna put this, I think I'm gonna put this all over my lid. Yeah, I haven't used this eyeshadow in so long. I used to use this on clients all the time when I worked at MAC. It's such a good color and it's so easy to blend. Like if you need to blend two MAC colors together, just go back and forth with this over top or any of the Blux pearls really, but Sable was like always a good one. Yeah, obviously we're going for like a bronzy look today. Wasn't really sure what direction we were gonna go in. So just going back and forth with that original brush just to kind of blend the two together in here. grabbing Roulette by Makeup Geek on a little angled brush. This is a MAC 263. This is an old one. I don't even know where I got this. Obviously I got it at MAC, but when I got it, I guess. And I'm gonna stamp that. Let's see if this shows up. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Right on our inner corner. Just like halfway across, just to kind of add like a little bit of something. It's a little bit different. I'm just like sick of doing the same looks all over and over again, you know? Make sure you get it like right down to the corner and a good way to do that, like a good way to get like your eyeliner and stuff like right down here. God, there's crap everywhere around me. Um, it's just turn your head and then you can more easily get in here because the skin is sort of like moved out of the way so then you don't have to like close your eye or anything. You can keep your eye open and just go in like that. Like if you're doing makeup on a client, I always get them to look down and look over and then you can much more easily access the inner corner. I wanna like, for some reason, I really wanna add like teal or blue. I don't know why. This is calling out to me. This is Deep Truth by MAC and I don't ever think I've used this. I think that I got this in my kit when I graduated from makeup school and I don't know if I've used it. It looks pretty fresh. I'm gonna put this down here. All the way across. Oop, you guys can't see. <laughs> all along my bottom 
lash line. Don't want it extended in there. Wipe the blue off of this brush. And you need like a dark color, like black, I think, is what I need to like give myself some more definition there. So I'm gonna grab this, yeah, this Naked Urban Decay Naked Basics palette, and I'm going to use the black from that palette. It's a very, looks almost like a brown black, but that's okay. And tap off the excess because black falls out like crazy. Yeah, that's what I needed. Just add a little more definition down there. And I'm also going to stamp that on the outer corner out here. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to grab opal highlight and stick that in my inner corner right in here. I'm like okay with this look right now. I'm not obsessed with it. And I'm using my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. For bronzer, I am going to grab my Ish Beauty palette. I'm so sad. I'm very close to the end on this. Just a bronzer color. <laughs> I don't really like the rest of the palette. The blush is way too bright for me. So I'm gonna grab my Tardis Pro palette. I haven't used this in a little while considering how much I'm obsessed with it. And I'm gonna take this little Morphe M512 and I'm gonna just sculpt out my cheekbones just a little bit more. This always looks so much more intense on camera than it is in person. Soften this up by just kind of going over it a little bit with my brush that had some of my translucent powder left on it. Just softening it a little bit, nothing crazy. Then I'm going to grab my translucent powder once more. I'm going to sculpt out that contour. I take what's left on my brush. Uh, just the bronzer would be left on this brush. Oh, by the way, this is a MAC 127. And I'm just gonna sculpt out my nose with what was left because I find that like if you use too much powder for your nose contour or to just give your nose a little bit more dimension, it just looks really weird and robotic. I'm gonna use half red lip pencil. And then I'm gonna go over it with like a way lighter lipstick to kind of give it like a lighter look and we'll see how it looks. On its own, this would be like far too dark for me right now, and I might wipe it off, but I'm gonna lighten it up with Blankety Lipstick by MAC. Still too dark, I think. Okay, I didn't like that lip, so I wiped it off. So I'm gonna go with just like a nice neutral brownie lip, I think. I'm gonna take Spice, <laughs> this mini Spice Lip Pencil by MAC. Grab this Sephora Lip Stories lipstick. This is in the color, what's this called again? Oh yeah, Brunch Date. I love this color. Oops. And I am going to mix in a little blankety, am I? Yeah, on top. Just to add a little bit of gloss. So dusting away this powder, do I want to add a highlighter? I feel like I kind of have to because it's the summer. Since I already used this one, I will go back in with Opal by Becca. Awesome. A little bit down my nose, that'll be 
oily any minute. So I'm going to spritz myself down with some of the Fix Plus, the original Fix Plus. Um, I have the matte, but I like this better. I don't mind being shiny. I've kind of just embraced the shine this summer. Because if you try to fight it, it just doesn't go well. So that's everything for this look, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I kind of just wanted to do something a little bit different without being like too crazy, you know. I find that a great way to add a pop of color to your makeup is in the liner. So rather than doing like a huge like blue smoky eye, I still have a blue eyeshadow on it, just used it as a liner. And I have like a little pop of copper on top, so they'll kind of like contrast each other. So I just kind of randomly like to wear color, but I only ever wear like small amounts really when I'm going out. But when I'm doing like a fun look, like when I used to work at MAC, I used to wear color all the time. I just find that it's not as wearable for me these days. But anyway, that's a whole other video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. I have it linked for you guys down below. I believe the most recent one I posted was best long wearing foundations for brides. So give that a read if you are interested in a long wearing foundation. Please let me know in the comments down below what you guys would like to see next. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in my next video.